Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And we're going to talk about claiming children on taxes in Florida family law. This is a topic that many people have contacted me about and comes up in so many of my consultations. The issue of claiming children in Florida family law cases at this point really go hand in hand. Between the CARES Act, all the stimulus money that's come out in the past few years, a lot of issues come up where one parent, because they're claiming the child or children, have received a lot of these benefits and the other parent either wants their part or want it fairly considered in their family law case. So we're gonna talk about the nuances and the issues that can come up in Florida family law cases when it comes to claiming children and some of the things you can do to navigate. But before we move ahead, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated when we post new videos. And let's get started. When we talk about claiming the children on taxes, this could mean a few things. This could be the dependency exemption, which as of the date of this video does not exist. There's the child tax credit, as well as a host of other benefits that if you have your children claimed on your taxes, you can receive from the federal government. The way I've historically seen claiming children on taxes dealt with in court is that if there's one child, both parents tend to alternate that exemption year by year. So on odd years, one parent would claim the child, and on even years, the other parent would. If there are two or more children, usually the parents will each claim one child up until they're 18 and then alternate them, or create some sort of formula breakdown, which is, usually turns out fair for both parties. But what happens if, for one reason or another, the other parent doesn't file taxes? Does that parent forego the claiming of the children? Does the other parent get to claim the children? And what if one of the parents owed child support? Are they entitled to claim the children? All of these questions, the answer is, it depends. It is so important to note that these are some of the things that you want to consider when you're drafting your parenting plan. The problem is these things also have to satisfy IRS and federal regulation. It is important to note here that I am not a tax attorney. I'm a South Florida family law attorney, as I say in all of my videos. So I cannot give you tax advice. All I can do is help you navigate and consider what options may be best for you and your situation. But I strongly suggest you speak to a tax professional to make sure that any of these suggestions would not negatively affect you and your tax picture. What I can let you know is how claiming your child or children on taxes can affect your family case. What a lot of people don't know is that as a benefit of claiming the children, yes, you get the money and the benefit of claiming the children. However, that can be taken in consideration for any child support or alimony that is determined by the court. A little known fact about when you claim the children is that it reduces your taxable income. So if you made $5,000 a month and now it'd be subject to taxes. If you claim your children, while your net income would have been, let's say, 3,000 if you didn't claim them, it may boost it up to maybe 4,000 because you did. The court can take that $1,000 consideration when determining how much a child support amount would be or even an alimony amount. So it's not just free money as far as the family courts are concerned. It can be taken in consideration in terms of what your net income actually is. Another thing worth noted is that let's say you do have a parenting plan and it does have a term that each parent will claim the child but on different years. 
there is actually a form you can have each parent fill out, which is form 8332, which you can find on the IRS website, which you can specify on what years each person will be claiming the child or children. That way, the IRS already has the information, so when filing occurs, if anybody tries to do something different, it can be caught. Now, I will again suggest you speak to a tax professional to make sure that such a form is right for your case or situation. You also should keep in mind that if a parent chooses to claim the child or children on taxes on a year they're not supposed to, that this is something that can be subject to an enforcement or contempt proceeding if it's in your parenting plan or final judgment that one parent would be claiming the child or children and the other parent went ahead and did. Something you can consider that I've done on a lot of my cases is if you have a parent who is subject to a child support payment and they are not current on their child support payment, you can actually have the ability to claim the child or children be conditioned upon them being current on child support. While this is completely separate and apart from any IRS or federal regulation, what I've seen is that it maintains a little bit of honesty and consistency when you have a parent who's subject to child support and whether or not they continue to pay it. But I've had on countless occasions gotten it enforced that if a parent is not current on their child support obligation, that they lose that exemption for that year. And having a solid provision that basically says the same can basically make it an enforceable provision. That being said, that gets a little bit more complicated. I would say that if that's something you do want in your parenting plan or in your final judgment, to get an attorney to help you draft that provision or request that specific relief through the court to make sure something like that can be built in so that you can basically make sure that everybody's being honest. You're going to claim the child on the taxes, that's fine. You're going to make sure you're doing your time sharing and paying your child support obligation, if any, and you can get that benefit. So all things considered, claiming the children on your taxes is a part of the family law litigation, but whether it should be a big part of your litigation is something you should first speak to your family lawyer about as well as your tax professionals so you can really understand the tax consequences of such a decision. So if you or someone you know needs a family law attorney to help them not only navigate the claiming of the children, but any aspects of their family law case, please feel free to give us a call and schedule a consultation. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be updated on new videos. And if you know someone who can benefit from seeing this video, please share it and let them get some information as well. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.